Hi kindergartners. We are going to get started on a new project today and we are going to be doing a guided drawing of a bear that is wearing a scarf and inside that scarf we are going to be adding patterns. So we will talk a little bit more about patterns once we get to that portion of the project but for today we are just going to work on drawing our bear and I will do that demonstration in just a second. Okay, so to make your bear, you are going to start out with your paper being in the vertical direction. That means straight up and down and up towards the top, but not right at the top. You are going to make a um, upside down U shape or it's almost like a circle, but we're not putting the bottom on it. And you want the line to come down about the same amount on both sides, okay? Now, look at how much of my paper I filled up. You wanna make sure you do that as well because we want our bears to be nice and big. So up here, I'm going to make that same shape again. And inside that, I will make the same shape again. And over here, I will do the same thing. So now I have my bears ears. Okay. Now what I'll do is start to add the scarf and what I'm going to do for the scarf is just connect the two bottom parts of the, like the two bottom sides of the head and go out just a little bit further and then go down and it curves just a little bit like that. Okay, and I'll do the same thing along the bottom. Now I also want to do my bear's body. My bear's body should be wider than the head. So I'm going to go right here where the scarf ends, curve it out this way. On this side, I'm going to curve it out the other way, like that. And now I have the bear's body. I don't, for this project, I don't want the bear's feet or anything like that. So the last step now, I shouldn't say the last step, um, one of the last steps for the scarf is to draw a line that goes kind of like that, another one that's a tiny bit longer, and another one that's a tiny bit longer, like this, okay? What I'm going to do is connect this and I'm going to make a little line going down from that. And I'm going to connect that just like that. Okay, so this is my scarf. Inside my scarf, I'm going to divide it into just a few sections, nothing like I don't want 50 different spaces in here, just a couple. I've got four. And then the same thing here and in here. If you want to put little stringy things hanging down, you can, but you don't have to, okay? Like that. Now, in each one of these spaces, we are eventually going to draw some sort of little design in it or pattern in it. Um, but we're going to do that part with crayon in just a little bit. So what we need to do now is finish the face. And to do that, we're going to make another upside down U that goes about halfway up the head or even a little bit more. And at the top of it, we're going to make a V, like the letter V. And then from the pointy part of that V, we will go straight down. Now we have given our um, bear a snout and a nose. The last thing that we need to do is give our bear some eyes. And you can kind of decide how you want to make your eyes. You can go like that and then that can be colored in. Or if you want them to be smaller, you can make them smaller. That's fine too. You decide, okay? At this point, I am completely done drawing my bear and I am going to 
Trace everything with a Sharpie. Okay, so I have finished sharpieing. Now what I need to do is erase my pencil lines. And then I am going to start adding some details in with crayons. The details are only going to go into the sky around the bear and into the scarf. So maybe in one section of my scarf, I wanna do just X's. And I have to push kind of hard because I'm going to paint over it and I want the X's to show up. Maybe in this section, I want to do O's. And then maybe I, this is where my pattern will come in, X's. and O's. And I would continue on until I have my patterns done in here also. Now the last step before I start painting is to take my white crayon, and I know this seems kind of funny, but I am going to make little snowflakes all around in my sky. And to do that, what I'm going to do is just make an X and then put a line through it, okay? Now you're not going to do it with pencil, you're just going to use your white crayon and do that all over the place in the background, okay? And it's just very random. Now I'm gonna erase this one just because I don't want it left there. Now I'm ready to paint. So to paint, you're going to use your watercolors. And you know, I just realized that I forgot to color my bear's nose in. So I'm gonna do that very quickly with my Sharpie. And then I can go ahead and paint. So remember that when you paint, you want to make a little puddle inside the paint. And you want to stir it in really, really good. That gives you nice, bright colors. Now if I pushed hard enough with my crayon, it's going to not allow the paint to stick to the crayon part and it will only stick to the white part of the paper. Pick a different color for the um, the other section of the scarf. Continuing on with a pattern. And then I can paint my bear. Now I want my bear to be brown. I am going to paint it a different color inside the, the inside part of the ear. So I'm gonna leave that part white. And I don't want a color in my eye. And I want my snout to stay white around my snout. So 
So the very last step of the project now is to paint the sky. You decide what color you want it to be. It can be like a night sky, it can be a daytime sky, completely up to you. But check out what happens where I put those stars. See how the paint just kind of, like it disappears right off of them. I just have to make sure then that when I color them, I push hard enough, okay? Pretty cool. So you all will paint your entire sky. I am not because I don't want the video to go any longer. Um, but just make sure that you take your time and try to keep the paint right where you want the paint to be. Okay? All right, if you have any questions, please let me know.